I welcome you to the Mazar channel. This is an end time channel. If you are watching for the first time, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button so that you will be alerted when we uh, put uh, another video or videos. Uh, today we are discussing 10 signs proving that Babylon America is fallen. I believe that America is the Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation. Uh, you may disagree, but we have to uh, look at the scriptures to support our claim that Babylon is the United States when we are talking about the end times. And I'm saying that Babylon is falling. You may disagree. You can say America is falling. It has not fallen yet. You can say America is declining. Regardless of how you look at it, there are indicators. And we are going to look at 10 of them. The first one is population decline. You can research about it and see the incidence of sickness, uh, sudden death, and declining birth rates. And you come to a conclusion that American Babylon is declining. Sudden deaths, people just falling on the ground and dying, including athletes, athletes, including young people. Number two sign is education, declining education. Uh, it's on record that America probably won more Nobel Prizes than any country in the world. That is an indication of education, higher education and innovation. Nonetheless, America Babylon is declining and the quality of her education is declining. Now in schools, young children are being taught about genderism and LGBT TQ uh, images and gender transition and those have those teachings have uh, implications for the quality of education in the United States at the same time uh, certain books that are critical are banned they are taken out of the curriculum an example would be the so-called books relating to critical race theory. There are eminent Americans whose books have been banned because they criticize the one-sided way of education uh, in the United States. I was watching a video and Professor Mole Fe Kete Asante, uh, he was talking about uh, some books being banned in certain states, including some of his books. And when the educational system begins to censure books, it means that the quality of his education is declining or has declined. Number three, declining moralities. The moral values of a nation determine the greatness of that nation. And when an empire is falling, when an empire is declining, one of the indicators is its moral quality, moral values. When Rome was declining, it has weakened or weak 
Mora values, and you see it uh, in the United States where morality is on the decline or has fallen. Uh, you see values uh, promoting LGBT, promoting bestiality, promoting um, love and affection for children, and things that are contrary to what used to be the so-called American values. These values were important in the history of the United States, a nation that claims to be founded on Judeo-Christian principles. And you see the values are declining or has already declined. The fourth sign, religious values are declining or we can put it another way america's religious identity uh, has declined the united states considered herself as um, fun being funded on judo christian uh, principles america was a nation that was as exporting Christian literature to the world. The great evangelists in the world, a lot of them came from the United States, mentioning Billy Graham, Ura Roberts, and the rest. Not forgetting, and not forgetting that um, Zondervan, a Bible a printer, um, has printed a lot of Bible literature in the world and that promoted Americans' religious uh, credibility over the world. But now a sign is showing that America has lost her religious identity. And so certain verses in the Bible are even condemned particularly verses in the Bible relating to homosexuality. You cannot preach about Romans chapter 1 verse 26. You cannot preach about Galatians chapter 5 verses 19 to 22. And some states, including California, are very critical about the Bible and there are some people who are fighting to have the Bible banned in the United States. A sign number five, there is increase in Satanism. Um, it's one thing to believe in God or not to believe in God. There's one thing to be a Christian or non-Christian some Americans are Christians, some of them are Muslims. But you see a trend in Babylon, United States, where Satanism is on the increase, the worship of Satan. And Satanism is on the increase. An example um, is April 2023 where a satanic conference was held in Boston, Massachusetts, and so many things went on. People tearing pages from the Bible, people advocating for child sacrifice in the United States. So satanism is on the increase in a nation that professed to be a Christian nation. Witchcraft is on the increase. The Satanic Temple organized a major conference in the United States promoting Satanism in April of 2023. Sign number six, 
political decline. Uh, Americans believe that they are the best democracy in the world. A French philosopher, Alexis de Tocqueville, uh, came to the United States and he made an observation. He said that the American Constitution was the best document ever written. I'm not sure why the philosopher from France was so impressed about the American um, Constitution. After all, it was a constitution that promoted segregation and slavery. It was a constitution that didn't give rights for black people to vote in the United States. And later on, the constitution was amended uh, to um, bestow the democratic quote-unquote principles uh, to uh, the Negroes. Some of the leading political scientists in the world uh, are Americans, Gabriel Amon, Bingham Power, Harold Laswell, and they all touted the democratic credentials of the United States as the leading democracy in the world and the beacon to all nations. And an American president famously said that the government of the people by the people and for the people shall not perish from the earth. American's political democracy is on the decline. And the best evidence is what happened on January the 6th, 2020 when some people attempted to overturn the democratic uh, system in the United States. You know what I'm talking about. It's even the subject of federal criminal inquiry, a coup, if you will, protest in the most democratic nation in the world. In Portugal, there was a coup d'etat, and it made Portugal look like a third world nation. In the Soviet Union, there was a coup d'etat. So it just took over power, and it made the Soviet Union, a superpower, look like a third world nation. And lo and behold, in 2020, people they were not foreigners they were people born in america considered to be patriots who attempted to overthrow the political system and so what happened on january the 6th 2020 is a sign of the decline of the american uh, political uh, system Sign number seven, economic, economic decline. It has both internal and external consequences. America became a great nation that maintained economic hegemony over the world and even helped the European nations to come together to form the European Common Market, which now is the European Union. America was strong and the world depended on the American economy. But lo and behold, at the time of making this video, America's economic hegemony is on the decline or has fallen. And economic blocks like the BRICS, they are challenging America's economic hegemony. And a sign of a decline of America's economic hegemony is the present movement towards the de dollarization of the international trade system. 
as nations like China and Russia, Saudi Arabia are moving towards an alternative economic system that will win themselves, disentangle themselves from America's economic hegemony. Sign number eight, America has lost its democratic, um, rather um, diplomatic influence, diplomatic decline. In those days, America was able to influence other nations through diplomacy, whether it was a benevolent effort or even through what they call gunboat diplomacy. What do I mean by gunboat diplomacy? It was a diplomatic maneuvers where American gunboats would be on the sea, bullying and threatening, threatening other nations, so that America would be able to exert influence over these nations. American gunboats were used to intimidate other nations in Latin America, and that gave American corporations to have influence over the economies of these uh, Latin American nations. Uh, you can talk about the case of United Fruits and the coup that occurred in Guatemala in 1954. You can talk about ITT, a telephone company, and the influence that they had. Uh, in Chile, there was a time that two American companies, Anaconda and ITT, they controlled a large portion of the Chilean economy. And they were able to influence the outcome of elections in Chile. And that led to the overthrow of the government of Allende in 1973. But now the diplomatic crowd of the United States has declined. And so you see allies of the US, including Saudi Arabia, moving, shifting to, to Russia, moving and shifting uh, to China. Even weak nations do not respect the diplomatic pressure mounted uh, by the United States. A clear sign is U.S. failure to coerce weak African nations to adopt America's value, LGBT values. Poor nations like Tanzania, Zambia, Kenya, uh, Ghana, they are resisting America's diplomatic pleasure. Uh, they are resisting America's diplomatic uh, blackmail. And that is a sign that the United States is falling or has fallen. The United States has lost the credibility that it enjoyed at the time when America was the leader, quote unquote, of the so-called free world. Number nine, military decline. The U.S. has declined militarily. Um, the U.S. has the largest number of military bases over the world. The U.S. has intervened in the politics of many nations more than any country in the world. But there's evidence of America's military decline. The withdrawal from Afghanistan is an evidence. And not only that, when we come to nuclear weapons, weapons of war, there's evidence that America is falling behind nations, including China, including Russia. It's on record that Russia has more nuclear weapons 
than the United States. And Russia has weapons um, that America um, doesn't have any um, antidote, answer for. And the conclusion is that America has lost its military uh, dominance in the world to the point that it is being challenged by small nations and it is being over challenged by Russia as the war in Ukraine will tell us. When I say there are signs of America's decline, uh, there are political signs, we talk about it, they are economic, but number 10, I'm talking about prophetic signs. I believe that the United States is the Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation. And there are signs that America is declining. I believe that there's a judgment on America as we look at Genesis chapter 15, verses 13 to 14, where the Lord told Abraham that his descendants will be strangers in a foreign land, they will be enslaved for 400 years, and after that, that the nation that enslaved them will be judged. And I believe that the period from 1619, when the first shipment of African Negroes were sent to the United States, that period uh, running up to 2019, um, is the 400 years uh, spoken of in Genesis chapter 15, verses 13 to 14. And so um, it's a signal that America uh, is being judged and that also provides the prophetic basis for America's decline and falling. In 2017, there, in 2017, there was a prophetic sign, the great American solar eclipse, and that uh, was seen in the United States. Seven years later, 2024, there will be another uh, eclipse in America. It's a prophetic sign. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, it is written that the Lord made the heavenly bodies, the sun, the moon, and the stars to serve as a sign. And in 2017, we saw the sun being eclipsed, solar eclipse. And in 2024, it's going to do the same thing again. And so based upon scripture, Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, the Lord is using the sun to show America that something imminent is going to happen. When America is declining or is falling, um, some people will not see it because they have what we call normality bias. They think everything is normal. But the book of Daniel chapter 2 verse 44 says that all kingdoms will fall to give way to the kingdom of the Messiah. The American kingdom overtook the Roman Empire, overtook the British Empire. And it's a big empire now. And that empire is in crisis, is declining because it is decreed that all nations, including America, will decline. In Revelation chapter 18, verse 2, the Bible talks about an event. Revelation chapter 18, verse 2. Babylon the Great is falling, is falling uses the word falling two times and it's become the habitation of devils in some bibles they say it has become the habitation of demons when america 
held a satanic conference in Boston in April 2023. Uh, some of the satanists demanded the use of babies as a sacrifice to Satan. And they also said that because God told Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, and they can also sacrifice human beings to Satan. So Satanism is at its height in the United States. As we watch Babylon fall, and so when Revelation chapter 18 verse 2 says that Babylon is falling, Babylon is falling, and it has become the dwelling place, the habitation of demons, you can see what the satanic conference in Boston did, showing satanism and demonic worship at its highest level. And so it is a parody. It is a precursor to the time when Babylon will ultimately fall. And at that time, videos will not be made to tell you that Babylon is falling. There will be an angel of the Lord that will be sent and you will shout with a thunderous voice, Babylon the Great is falling, is falling. It has become the habitation of demons. And the same angels, the same angel of God with a loud voice will say, Come, come out of her, my people, as it is written in Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And so the signs are very clear that Babylon, America is falling or is falling or is declining or has declined. For people who have eyes to see, for people who have ears to hear, those who have ears, let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. And so, if you are living in Babylon or you are living outside Babylon, know ye that Babylon in the United States is falling. It has been decreed that it will fall. But even if you don't believe that Babylon is the United States spoken of in the book of Revelation, I entreat you to do your research and you'll find out that Babylon is falling. The economic indicators are there, the military indi indicators, the political indicators, the sociological indicators are there. And it's important for you to know we are in the end times. You prepare and watch for the coming kingdom of the Messiah Yeshua and I rest and advise you again to subscribe to the channel and share the message and hit on the notification button. We are going to uh, send more videos to you uh, to warn and to console you and to prepare you for the coming kingdom, the kingdom that will be everlasting. All other kingdoms will fall. And now you have seen 10 signs, 10 signals that America, the Babylon of our time, is falling. Thank you.
for watching this video.